Do you need some Christmas songs or some other kids I songs? Have or an, what do you got? I have an entire list? list, and it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to practice that. Yeah. Just being that I didn't really get anywhere with this this okay. week, and that's something I do want to work on yeah. continually. But I do have a whole slew of Christmas songs that might be fun now that the kids we should know. We them today, because I'll see them maybe one more time. It'll just be before Christmas. Yes, yeah, so so. let's do that. Um, let's do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have, oh, here we go. There's, here comes Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus is coming to town. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. Oh, yeah. I think I even have Frosty in here somewhere too. Okay. Frosty. Okay. There we go. Let's pull those guys out. All right. I got it. Just for the time being. So let's see here. I know that they're not. You think these songs are very simple, easy to play, and a lot of them are not. Well, yeah, most of them, except for things like Silent Night and maybe a few others, have um, most because these are these are like ones from the '40s that were kind of the the style was not so folky as much as they would use jazzier chords and stuff like uh -huh. that. It's, it's kind of the era of other pe people were writing stuff like Chattanooga Choo Choo and and Over the Rainbow and stuff like that, and that's kind of the era when most of these are from. So they are more complicated than um, than really traditional ones, like What Child Is This or, or Silent Night and things like that. Okay. You know? They can also be simplified or more complicated too, lot, like lots of different ways. So, um, but the way I have them, most of these charts that you have are kind of how I would play them as a, a sing-along, you know, for for uh, uh, for anyway, sing-along in somebody's living room. Okay. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so for us right now, it'd just be a matter of let's just kind of glance through them and see if there are any chords that jump out at you. It's like, oh, I'm, that, I'm pretty rusty on that one, you know. Right here we have one in parentheses. Remember what that symbol means? Uh, I want to say flat, but I... No, so flat is a little B. B, okay, that's right. right. So, uh, so that circle, cir the, the superscript circle is diminished. Diminish. Okay. okay. And um, we don't have any of those here. But the two other, so the two basic forms of triads are major and minor. Right, those are the main things that we see. But we also then have seventh chords, and most of the sevenths you should know pretty much off the top of your yeah. head, or they'll come back pretty mm -hmm. quickly. Um, but then we have two other um, unusual, but just as basic as major and minor chords called diminished and augmented. Those four things are the only things that qualify as triads. So a triad is just something that has only three notes in it. Okay? And there are only four kinds of triads, major, minor, and diminished and augmented. The, the diminished and augmented ones are used very rarely compared to major and minor, and it's because they have a very dissonant sound. Those types of things, that's yeah. what they sound like. See, they don't sound resolved like a major and a minor chord sound resolved, mm -hmm. and you can come home to them. So anyway, the diminished and augmented chords are used um, pretty rarely, but almost every Christmas song has one or two, one of them in it. It's okay. Like, so it's kind of, but they also can be done without, and that's why we put parentheses around that E sharp diminished, because if you don't, if you don't even get to it, you can just stay on E for the rest of that measure. It's kind of a colorful thing. Like this is, um, let's see, we're in there. In that foggy Christmas Eve, oh, wrong song. Um, must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. So it's right here. When they placed it on his head, they began to dance around. So it's on yeah. the word head, and you can hear that it creates a, a lot of tension that resolves real quickly. Yeah. But and that's the way I played it right there. I'll get back to that in just a second. But if I didn't play it at all. When they placed it on his head, they began to dance around. Yeah. You don't even miss it. Yeah. So it's like you can't let that be an obstacle or a stumbling okay. block in there. It's something you could, if, if like our first goal is to have these five and maybe a couple others whipped into as good a shape as possible, the diminished chords could wait. Okay. Okay. Um, are you in tune? No. Yeah.